hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel sanha academy please if you are new here kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell for more informative videos so please kindly subscribe and hit the notification uh, notification bell in case we upload uh, any new video then you can be notified uh, today we are going to see 10 online tools that every researcher should know so if you are in if you are a researcher this video is for you uh, even if you are not a researcher this video is also for you because you can learn a lot and you can make uh, you can uh, use the tools and maybe something that you do especially if you are a writer even if you are not a researcher uh, let's begin with number one. Uh, one of the ten tools that we have is bit.ai and this is the icon of the or uh, the icon or logo of the tool so that if you are browsing or you are searching for the tool you can be able to identify the exact tool that you are looking for with the uh, logo so this bit.ai it allows researchers and teams to collaborate share information for their research track their research and manage all knowledge and research in one place it also lets you to add pdf document videos audios and much more to your document so i think you can visit their website so that you can have a glance or you can walk around and see how it works it's an amazing tool so you can give it a try uh, the second one is a link.io and this is the uh, logo for a link.io uh, 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 so that you can be able to identify the exact tool that you are looking for while browsing on the internet and this elinco tool a link tool it makes researchers easy to save their content from around the web and also researchers can save article links and many more this a link tool also is available as a browser extension so you can save it as an extension in your browser so that anytime you want to navigate to the tool you don't have to uh, waste much time you just go to the tool uh, to the extension and uh, continue working with the tool it's an amazing tool you can visit the link here and give it a try it's, a, it's an amazing tool you can give it a try then the next one is number th that is the number three is Grammarly Grammarly is an amazing tool a really amazing tool uh, apart from basic spell checking that the Grammarly is doing because it can check basic spelling and it can make the corrections let's say for example you you write uh, an article and you want to proofread, proofread your article to see the level of uh, uh, level of your grammar in the article so grammarly tool can help you to check whether if you make some mistakes in the spelling and it can help you to correct the spellings and it can even help you to correct your grammar and also grammar in grammarly as a tool it also include grammar checker like what i just said it can check your grammar and help you correct the grammar to be in a better way or in a professional way and also there is a punctuation feature in it and there's also a plagiarism checker in grammarly so even if you copy somebody's work so or after you write your article grammarly can help you to check the level of plagiarism in your article so this grammarly is an amazing tool seriously you can give it a try and it will really help you you can visit uh, their site here and try and see how it works 
then the next so the next one that is number four is typeset.io typeset.io is also an amazing tool that every researcher should have uh, typeset.io it uh, claims to be the smarter alternative to world and latex so if you are using word microsoft word or latex typeset is an amazing tool for you guys it has over 100 plus verified journal format and you can follow any citation style you need so this typeset is an amazing it's really amazing tool for every researcher because there are a lot of format for journal so you can give it a try visit their site and you can see it for yourself and you give it a try then the next one is uh, number five scrivener this is an amazing tool also uh, it's a tool made for long writing projects so if you're writing a very long project this tool is an is, is a good for you it has a sidebar to keep everything in place so for novelists and storytellers there is also a cock bot to visualize your storyline so this is not only for researchers it's also for storytellers novelists and many many more because if you are writing this tool is good for you to at least have it so you can visit their website and see how it works and the next thing is number six which is google scholar google scholar is a must not even should i think for every researcher to at least have it i can call it a social media academic site created by google where you can upload your articles publish articles even if it is not published you can upload your articles there so that people can search and see your articles and read it provides a quick way to broadly search for scholarly literatures you can search any available content uh, i mean journals conference proceedings patents there are so many things that you can get in google scholar and google scholar allow users to keep up with recent development in any area of research so irrespective of your research domain any kind of research that you are looking for especially journal articles that has been published conference proceedings and etc you can use google scholar to search and get the uh, articles for free though some of them are not free but you can have a lot of free ones all uh, are there and you can also upload your 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 search so that people can also have an access to your research and you can s uh, one of the amazing thing you can see the number of citations that you have in your research and that is your available content online so google scholar is an amazing tool for every it's a must for every researcher to have this so you can visit uh, the site for so that you can create your profile and start uploading your content there it's an amazing tool uh, the next one is EndNote. EndNote is one of the most important or one of the best tools available so far for researchers. So EndNote automatically find the impact of your references and find the best paid journal of your papers. It also enables users to automatically create, format and update bibliographies so you can make use of EndNote to 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 gather all your uh, articles in one place and it can help you to create a bibliography easy easily so you can try EndNote and see it's an amazing tool so every researcher should should, should at least have EndNote so Mendeley just like EndNote Mendeley is a reference management software that allows researchers to create references, citations, and bibliographies in multiple journal styles. So if you are writing a paper or anything that you are writing, you must have citations and references. So Mendeley tool can help you 
to create all the citations and the bibliographies that is references that you want to create very simple and easy and in different format i triple e upper style and etc so you can visit uh, Mendeley website download the tool and give it a try it's an amazing tool then the next one which is number nine is content mine content mine uh, helps researchers to find download analyze and extract knowledge from academic papers uh, the platform can also extract data from tables and graphs so this is an amazing tool that researchers should have and should know so you can visit content mine site and give it a try it's an amazing uh, tool then the last one that we have is research gate which is one of the powerful uh, uh, academic social media platform that people or all researchers should at least have their account there because ResearchGate gives you access to over 140 million publication pages. With a built-in community, researchers can share their research and collaborate with peers. So ResearchGate is an amazing tool, just like the one that I mentioned before that is a Google Scholar. So researchers, you can have a profile, create a profile in ResearchGate. You can search for papers that you are looking for, and you can also manage your papers there, your conference papers, your journal papers, your patent, preprint, any anything anything that you have you can you can put it there and it will be good for you because you probably have something that other people are looking for but you dump it in your uh, drawer so i think there's no way there's no reason for you to just keep your papers or keep your articles or keep your research in just your 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 cupboard i think it's good for you to make it online so that people can be able to have an access in it and one of the amazing thing that you can have is because uh, people uh, can search your content and can also uh, 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 make a citation and references of your content if they find it uh, uh, good for them so I think it's, it's, it's good for every researcher to at least have an account with ResearchGate uh, this is the last tool that we have in this video. Thank you so much for listening. And please, if you are new here, like I said earlier, kindly hit the subscri subscribe button and notification bell for more informative videos. Thank you so much.